welcome to another episode of Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2. I'm pretty sure it's Episode 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's Episode 2, definitely. Okay. So, let's just begin. I feel like that's not supposed to be there, but you know. Who knows what's gonna happen? Like I said, I've seen a playthrough. That was very, very. That's cool. Listen, though. everyone, just stay calm. Who are okay. you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone, calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I love that voice Please, so much. Just do what you oh my says. gosh. <laughs> Penny. Penny. Oh, what, do you know this guy? Hey, Penny. Oh, I, I, I give him. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Hey, Kenny. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> These people with you? Yeah. We can talk inside. <laughs> Great. I just started dinner. Oh, man. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Let's come in. Oh, man. <laughs> Did that happen to squidge out back there? It's like, oh man. Oh, oh man. Uh. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us? You would have been waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Mystery. Well, now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. It's really weird is the fact that I was actually that happy because <laughs> it's like I'm watching Dylan at the moment play season one, so this shouldn't be. The that much of a big deal, but you know. Apparently, it Good. is. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Oh, man. Kenny, man. My motto has always been side with Kenny, no matter what. Purely because I'd seen playthroughs previously. Which is why I'm not watching playthroughs of season 3. But you know. Dirty old thing, huh? <laughs> you know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. Yeah. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. 
He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Yeah. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he helped me do the right thing. I'll never forget that. Okay. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Okay, so this is Long pretty different short, from I what lucky. I actually did. Real lucky. That's okay. I spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your... Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? <sighs> hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. She was with Lee. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mm. Her have snapped. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. <laughs> huh. Striking resemblance. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's this? It's got Cousin a Jared's phone. concert, October thirteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Okay. Reminds me of school. Oh, that's the music. Reminds you of school? Okay, then. I don't know what schools are like there, so... Maybe it is like schools. Yeah. Did you just change songs? Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. 
But you must be so glad. It's weird to see him now. I'll bet, but he's so happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad you're with us, too. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. <laughs> we have some sort of really weird fairy thing. She's supposed to be an angel, but her face is messed up. That's one thing. What a funny little guy. It's like a doll. Sort of similar to a Barbie, but not quite a Barbie. Like a smaller, weirder Barbie, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? <laughs> Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? <coughs> yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Let's do an angel. Because that's what she said. And then we can talk to Rebecca. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, I like now Christmas that your too. friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are I don't like amazing. Christmas because they're in our school. Oh. What just happened? Okay. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind. They can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days, like everyone else. I don't else. know. He, he just looks the same. Can he to me? Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it. Huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Okay. Always has to play the gentleman, but I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? I'll go back and talk to Rebecca now. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. <laughs> I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Why are you telling me this? I 
trust you for some reason. And I can tell you've kept a few secrets. If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. You should be There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Like I said, always choose skin. Here you go, Clem. Hey, it's so cute. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Candy, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. I'm tired of running. Of course you are. You don't have to run no more, darling. <laughs> hey there. Hey, hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So... What was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, mm. but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, clown? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? 
the two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. I don't know those people. <laughs> they say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Maybe. Maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. Really? I can promise you that. Uh... I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay, there we go. It's fine. I'm just gonna have to end it at the next save point. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Okay, next safe one, I'm going to have to end it. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine, don't freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Mm -hmm. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. Where's Nick? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. 
Well, we should tell him. He's going to ask who did it, and you're going to tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's going to happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's going to put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. It's gone. Out the door. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, where is this save point? My laptop's going to kill me. Okay. So, it's going to have to be the end because space. I knew I was kind of running low because of all those. But then game theory stuff that I've been watching. Can I just say, game theory's been scaring me because I watched the Walking Dead kind of style episode and that scared the hell out of me because of some of the things that Matt Pat said, but you know. Ow. But you know, okay. So I'm going to end this episode, maybe these two episodes, it's probably going to be two episodes here, unless of course I I'm going to extend it to being like a 40 minute episode. I don't know how long I've been sitting here. But anyway. Yeah.